Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am excited. What do you guys think about this daily upload content? Wow, it's mind blowing. I've wanted the last couple of years to kind of start updating daily and it's crazy that I'm getting to do that. Five times last week, probably all seven days this week of uploading content to YouTube. This is absolutely crazy that I'm doing, but I need your help. I need your support. I need you to do a couple things for me so that way I can keep creating content for you guys. Uh, the easiest way, we all do it. We all shop on Amazon, right? There's a link in the description below. And if you click that link every single time that you shop at Amazon, it pays me a little bit of money. Very little, so the masses need to do it. We need a ton of people to do it to make it advantageous. Uh, next week, the podcast is coming up. I'm spending so much money on this podcast. When you see all the content that I recorded for this podcast and everything I've done, you're gonna be like, holy crap. So. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, leave a thumbs up, and then also tell a friend about the channel. Uh, next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m., we're gonna go live for the first time on the podcast and show you everything that we've done over the next couple of days on this building podcast in my house. Also, uh, ChevyDudeStore.com. You can pick up your Chevy Dude merch, and most importantly, uh, just check out my Facebook group that's down in the description below. So with that being said, I'm glad you're here. Let's get on with the content. I do have some bad news. I ordered my 2020 C8 wrong and I made a $2,600 mistake. And I'm gonna share with you that mistake beforehand. But the exciting news and what I'm excited for is this right here. All right, well, we have a new item here for the C8. I don't have a C8 yet, but we've got this item here. So. Let me find my handy dandy razor. This is the same razor that I put a hole in the dash of the ZR1. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. So we'll be careful with this. And this seems legit. Open it one-handed. Oh yeah, this is really good. Oh, there we go. And I don't know how this looks. Okay. Can't show you guys yet. There we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, you guys can tell what it is now, right? This would be the mid-engine red cover. So this is gonna go on my car as soon as it gets here. I know some people are gonna be triggered that I'm just like plop, plopping this around like that, but it's just an engine cover, I don't really care. There we go, that thing is sweet it's really really dark red um this is the edge red so this is the same color as the calipers and uh i'll tell you what not my calipers the edge red calipers that you can get on the car you mind your business you follow up with my customers and stay out of my videos lady okay no you keep putting me in your videos oh i did so uh corvette's all done oh i got an idea let's go drive a mid engine car right now all right, see you back there? We are officially in a mid-engine car. Well, a mid-engine car with a mid-engine cover. Well, I mean, a mid-engine cover car. There's no mid-engine back there, but we can pretend, right? We're done. Neither one of you need to be calling me stupid, okay? Don't be I enjoy acting like a two-year-old, but I'm not stupid. And my birthday's next week, so I'm like two and three quarters. You got me? Who cares about your birthday, Diane? <laughs> but are you so? Oh, yeah, next week's your birthday week, right? You celebrate right. the whole week, yeah. The whole week. All right, let's get my engine cover out of here because somebody will probably want to buy this. I celebrate. Love it. So I recorded that footage about the engine cover last week. Well, I got great news because I came in today, uh, a day after I did the video of going down to the plant and we have a surprise here. I'm ready to go back and check out and show you the accessories that are here for my car. All right, so I got everything up here. Let's, uh, we're gonna open this garage door and we'll bring it in and we're gonna open it up and share with you everything inside of it and also share with you the mistake I made with my own personal car ordering. This is horrible. I can't believe I made this mistake. Thanks, Chris. Oh, 
All right, so I got the infamous razor blade from the uh, ZR1 cut dash. We're gonna try not to cut any of my own personal things as well, as I would never want to cut anybody else's stuff either. Let's, uh, we'll start with this right here. I think this is, yes, these are tire pressure monitors. So there's the TPMS system for the second set of wheels. Oh, these are, uh, I'm not gonna open these up. These are like the little nuts that go on the inside of the tire pressure monitors to secure them to the rim. I showed you earlier in the video, these are the locking lug nuts that are blacked to match the wheels, which is nice. These guys as well. Ooh, look at that. That is, that is wild. It's just hard to see there, but it's, there are the lug nuts to the CA. Pretty cool. Nice little uh, like foam compartment rather than just being thrown in there in the box, uh, which is super, super nice. Oops. And then we have four wheels, right? I'm not gonna open up all these, but I figured I would at least share with you this. I think, uh, I think you can kind of tell a difference between the front wheel and the back wheel. Here's the size of these boxes. Oops. Oops. Woo. Man, these things are big. All right, so there you go. There is the Trident Spoke accessory wheels, black. You can also get these in pewter uh, and silver, but the accessory wheels are this in pewter. And uh, looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to fit them on my car. Little Corvette emblem right down there. Kind of see that, it's tough to see, but there you go. All right, let's uh, get to the Spoiler, have it uh, going, you know, open it up and have a problem. This is not on tape. So this is uh, the spoiler template. That's interesting. I don't know why we need this because the spoiler is already installed at the factory, the Z51 spoiler. So it's kind of interesting. So maybe this is for if you um, don't have a spoiler on your car at all, like a non Z51 car, and you want to put a spoiler on, this is a template that tells you exactly where to drill your holes because you do have to drill your holes in a non Z51 car. <clears throat> Definitely not carbon fiber, uh, weighs way too much to be carbon fiber. And since this is my car, then nobody's gonna complain. By the way, I did this on the ZR1, the very first ZR1. I did this video just similar to this and the customer complained. I don't understand why it's not that big of a deal but just kind of showing everybody and whatnot. So we'll get this off. I didn't do, I wasn't this aggressive on it, like cutting the bag or anything like that, since it's my car. Oh, we'll just cut the bag and not worry about it. But here you go. This is the spoiler right here. Hopefully you guys can see that really well. You can see how tall that is. And uh, we'll go to one more step and I will share with you. I'll get my tape measure and I'll measure these points to tell you how tall the spoilers that come off the deck lid. And one of the big things that I get uh, questioned, uh, they just said it kind of wrong, I said deck lid. This doesn't go on the deck lid, this goes on the rear fascia. So this does not lift up with the car. This is stationary, same with the Z51. It's gonna be stationary on the car on the rear fascia and the deck lid comes up separately. Do you call that a deck lid? Do you call that a the hood i don't know um but uh yeah so pretty cool you can kind of see some uh let's see if i can get the camera angle there you can kind of see the angle there some airflow going over here it's pretty wide apart see if i can get that in there there you go so nice big side yeah let me look at my tape measure and um yeah from the tip to the tip uh to the from the here to the low point we are just right at five inches from from the tall tip to the widest tip, we're right about six inches. So let me see if I can get this in camera better. So from here to here, we're about five. From here to here, we're about six inches on the middle post. And then on the outside post, 
We are setting right at seven inches there and about 10 inches. Seven inches? No, 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 not you. This right here. Uh, the, uh, uh, seven, yeah, seven inches there and then 10 inches from here to here. So it'll be really interesting of how well this sets on the car, but uh, the high wing spoiler is here, guys. All right, so here's all my stuff. I got it kind of put up in the corner here waiting for my Corvette to get here. And here is where the mistake came in on my C8 and how I made a $2,600 mistake on the car. So when the car was revealed July, of 2019 the configurator came out and you could see all this stuff and then what was it sometime in august i think pricing came out and you could start building your car on chevy.com and all that stuff well from a dealer standpoint if you wanted to get those trident wheels this was the information that you were given it just says make sure you inform the customer that you get two sets of wheels okay so 2600 dollars. okay not a not a big deal and then um, on the consumer side, it says this right here. And there's a lot of question of what you get. I, as a dealer, I should be informed. I should know exactly what this means. There's a lot of open for interpretation. There's a lot of room for mistakes. And so I told you guys when I revealed my build that I built this car beyond my comfort zone, $97,000, gonna be well over 100 once I get ground effects put on it and stuff like that. And um, I made a mistake. I ordered those wheels. I shouldn't have ordered those wheels. Those wheels do not come with tires. So now I have $2,600 and then another additional $1,600 in tires that I have to put on there. Now, could I take the tires off of the ones that come with the car and go on there? I absolutely could. And maybe that's the purpose behind General Motors thinking is that you'll just do that. Well, I don't want to do that because tire machines stink. Tire machines are horrible um, with the metal clamps on the rims and stuff like that. And they damage rims. So I don't want to damage my brand new car right from the get go. And to kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about, this is an LT Suburban. See the rims, see the wheels. Let's walk up here. We added these wheels. They're $2,995. This is a dealer add-on. We added these rims because a lot of people run these rims. When we get these tires and wheel package, it's a rim, it's the lug nuts, it's the wheels, it's the tire pressure monitors, it's mounted and balanced, ready to go. Let's go out to this LT Tahoe. See the rims, see the wheels? Let's go over to the window sticker. $29,995, 22 inch chrome wheels. So what happens with these vehicles with the 22 inch wheels from the factory is they come in with steel wheels that you have to send back to the factory and the upgraded price over the base wheels is $29.95. So with that being said, one would safe to assume that if you were ordering a second set of wheels from General Motors on your 2020 Corvette, that a $2,600 option to upgrade the wheels, they would come mounted, balanced, and ready to go on the car. And that way, if you wanted to swap wheels back and forth, say you're doing winter driving, summer driving, like me, you wanna do drag strip driving, you wanna do burnouts, whatever the case may be, you have two sets of wheels to go with. Now, I know that probably most people don't want two sets of wheels, but the people who do, $2,600 is a ripoff. Let me just put it out there. $2,600 for four wheels, four tire pressure monitors, and uh, some lug nuts. I don't even know if lug nuts came with it. I think I paid for those extra. That is absolutely a ripoff. Um, and really disappointed with General Motors uh, in the fact that I just spent $2,600 on four wheels, and I gotta go out and spend $1,600 to $1,800 more on tires for this car. Very disappointing. Good luck finding tires for a 2020 Corvette that matched the 4S pilot sport tires that's going to be interesting i'm trying to find them i can't i've been trying to do it for a week because i got word that this was going to happen and it's just crazy it's absolutely crazy so then i gotta spend another 150 bucks to mount and balance the tires as well it's just it's just a big ripoff and i'm so mad so that's why if you want to get the base wheels i did the video on the uh all the stats of the first 550 vents there's so many base wheels out there 
So when you want to buy some wheels, just go to MRR Wheels and uh, you can get some upgraded wheels and spend a whole lot less money on forged wheels. It's crazy. So as always, guys, you know this is the channel to come to for the most up-to-date, truthful information on Corvette and also so that way you understand how to order your car. Now, again, I said this earlier, I'm not complaining. I'm not like bitching and moaning and all that stuff. This video is to inform you so that way you can see that I got my parts in and you can also see what you get for $2,600. Nobody else out there is telling you. Nobody else has explained this to us. Trust me, I've asked and nobody can explain to us. So when I came time to order my car, I just said, let's roll the dice. I know what I'm getting into. I know what to expect. I know that I may have to order tires and it's just frustrating that nobody at General Motors could tell us. And they say that they want to inform us, but it's not happening. So regardless, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some awesome things with my car and I'm gonna show you how everything works on this car. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to make a well-informed decision. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, if I would have built this car for myself, I'd have probably been in the mid 75,000, maybe under 80,000 if I was not going to demonstrate every possible feature on this car. This is why I did a 3LT. This is why I did every option I could on this car. Extra lug nuts, extra wheels, extra all this stuff. I did it for you guys. So do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, talk about me on the forums, make sure people know that this is the channel to come to, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safe.